Hey, District 35, uh, just giving you a quick update again. We're, we're going heavy on the floor right now. Um, all committee work is done. If it did, bill didn't get out of the committee, it's dead. If you didn't get a Senate author for your bill, um, it's dead as well. So we're running a lot of bills um, on the floor right now. And obviously, you know, listening to you guys this, this summer, the number one concern we have in, in rural Oklahoma and District 35 is the county roads. Um, we got three good bills um, passed that, that are really important. I think I want to spotlight um, for sure is House Bill 3271, which creates an online bidding procedure for the counties. Um, obviously, with technology and changes, this, this gets some county commissioners up to date where we can bid things out better and faster and more accurate. Uh, the second one is House Bill 3273, which increases the base salary of $5,000 for county employees Obviously, we talked about this as being a big, big issue with getting quality help. And so I think this would be a good shot in the arm for the county government as well. The third one that I want to talk about is House Bill 3913, which we talked about last year. We, we put $30 million into the CERB fund. This year, we're attempting to put $20 million more in the CERB fund. Um, obviously, this is money that does big projects in rural Oklahoma. It's, it's a needed thing. Um, we're trying to work on the speed on how things get out. To the counties from the CERB, but um, it's a work in progress. Oklahoma agriculture alone is about $7.6 billion economic impact to Oklahoma, and our infrastructure is horrible. Um, same thing when you start talking about energy, the money that's been put into Oklahoma from energy, the oil, wind, and gas, and our infrastructure is the way it is. To me, it's not right. It's something we really need to focus on. I've got a lot of people coming to the table to try and help me figure out some funding mechanisms to help address this. Um, it is a major issue. Look out for this bill, House Bill 2851, which again, these license plates that are being created, it's an uh, ACCO, which is the Association of County Commissioners of Oklahoma license plate, um, would go to County Roads and Bridge Fund. Um, another one is House Bill 2795. This is a big money saver for counties, allows and, and makes it a law that inmates are responsible for their own health care from self-inflicted injuries and pre-existing injuries. The last two bills I want to talk about are, are my two bills that I'm still waiting to be heard on the floor. I've got some language issues that we're working on um, to try and get them finalized and getting all the players on the table which is House Bill 3884. It's making it a state law that if any county elected official does not do their training, that there will be penalties for this. It's very important that we get the training and phase one of my whole county government plan is to get accountability and oversight on county government. The phase two plan would be funding. Um, obviously, the, a lot of the funding bills, um, I'm doing interim studies on this summer and hopefully get some, some support on those to try and give counties some mechanisms to fund themselves. My other bill, the House Bill 3857, should be coming on the floor soon. This will release the liens um, that are held on properties that are owned by the counties that can't be sold. It's a benefit, not a burden to the counties, which they are right now, having those liens on them. It would drop the lien and get it back into the tax pool. Next week is our deadline week. We have to have all the House bills off the floor or they're dead for this session. So we'll be hot and heavy down here at the Capitol next week. Probably pretty late evenings going on, but we're going to get a lot of these bills pushed through as fast as possible. Um, after that, uh, we'll start hearing Senate bills. It's got to go through the same process that we went through with the House bills. It has to go to a committee, and then we'll go to the floor with the Senate bills. Again, I'm here for you. If there's something you want me to update you on, email me. Let me know what it is. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give me a call or come see me. God bless.